This body is not an apology. It will not apologize for things it knows nothing about. It will not explain itself to caress coward curiosities. This body was not made to fit into your definition of what beauty is, of what sexy is. This body is what it says it is. This body isn't a rebound tool, something you get under just to get over someone, hoping that your moans will be loud enough to deafen your pain. This body is not an answer to the empty side of your bed. Neither would it answer the many questions you have about giving aid. This body is not a consumable. Something to chop and clean mouth. And just so you are not in any doubt, this body has a mouth. And it would speak for itself. So I said, this body is a forest of a thousand demons. And I know each of these demons by name. Isn't that what you call familiar spirit? See, one of these demons is the reason I do poetry. So in case you ever wondered why my poetry is so deep, I write for spirits. My words are whiskey enough for spirits to get eye on. And even if I refuse to write, they chase me down irrespective of where I run. When I get on stage, the spirit of your ancestors takes seat behind you, ready to snap fingers at my words. My words are spirit and life. I do not write for just mortals. If you listen to me long enough, you would catch this spirit too. So one of these demons is the reason I write poetry. Yet another is the reason why I forget my lines. Yet another is the reason why I forget my lines. But another reminds me, you see, these demons don't always agree. Is that what it means to have mood swings? On some days, on some days, I am a city conflicting against itself. On days like this, my flesh is willing, but my spirit is weak. My face is beaming, but my soul is bleak. So one of these demons is the reason why I do poetry. Yet another is the reason why I forget my lines. One of these demons is an introvert. She's the reason I only find comfort in lonely places. She's still shocked I can boldly say this. She's still shocked I can boldly say this. This body has a mouth and it will speak for itself. I hope you hear when it says, please, do not pick on me, please. I'm trying to be the best I can be, please. Don't be too hard on me, please. I hope you hear. See, just like you, this body gets scared too. But in spite of all this, in spite of all this, in spite of all this, this body is God's temple, the closest you would get to divinity. This body is God's canvas. This is where he paints his almighty. This body is God's coat of many colors.